While the governor's race captured national attention, local eyes also focused on the race in the 67th district between incumbent Tom Phillips and Alex Van Dyke. Channel 8 News reporter Rachel Hogan has a story. Experience, leadership, integrity. That's what Kansas State Representative since 2012 Tom Phillips says he represents and what the voters of the 67th district voted to uphold on Election Day. Phillips received 62% of the vote, while Democrat Alex Van Dyke received 38%. Phillips said his re-election will allow him to continue to support the Manhattan community and the state. And uh, very pleased that uh, the citizens and the voters of Manhattan and the 67th District have given me the opportunity to return and make a difference uh, for the state of Kansas and make Manhattan a, a better community. Meanwhile, the 66th District also voted to re-elect incumbent Democrat Cindy Carlin with 77% of the vote. Her Libertarian opponent, Edgar Chambers, received only 23%. Carlin said her short-term goals include support for schools and higher education. In the long term, she hopes to continue partisan relationships. Uh, because it's been nice to work with people from both sides uh, and I think bringing people together and getting Kansas to feel like they can trust us again would be really a good goal for me. While the votes funneled in on Tuesday evening, the atmosphere at the Riley County Democrats' watch party at Kite Spire and Girl was hopeful, then elated when the governor's race was called. While the door to state government opens for Democrat Laura Kelly and remains open for Phillips, it is closed for Van Dyke. After his first foray into politics, he remains hopeful about his political future. Van Dyke said he hopes Phillips keeps a few things in mind during the coming months and years. There will be more eyes on him uh, as he, ha he hadn't had uh, any... Um, challengers since 2012, and I don't think that's going to happen again. Van Dyke also said we can expect to see him continue to work in politics. In Manhattan, Rachel Hogan, Channel 8 News. Specifically, Carlin and Phillips said they aim to address the internet sales and methods of securing school funding when the House co convenes while also getting acquainted with Laura Kelly as governor.